Welcome to Good Day Extra. Hey, all new at 9 o'clock, are your kids glued to their new high-tech gifts from Santa? That's a great question. I'm going to have to say yes to that. <laughs> and you may want to tell them to come up for some air, as I have often done. <laughs> so you can set some important parental controls on them. The news station's Sydney Cameron went to the experts to find out what to do before heading to the airport. Tech gifts were the hot item on many kids' Christmas list this year, and mom delivered for teenager Lauren Hill. She got a PlayStation 4. I was yeah. very excited and happy. But before she gets too carried away with playing, mom Letitia Paisley says she'll be putting some parental controls in place. Well, it's a lot to it, but it's worth it. Experts recommend you take the time to safeguard electronics before giving them to your kids. Left Joy-Con controller, this is the right Joy-Con controller. First, the know what they're capable of doing. So a lot of them are taking data. A lot of them may switch a camera on intermittently. A lot of them can just be listening 24-7. When it comes to gaming consoles, Thomas Jelnick with On Target Digital Marketing also says create an account for yourself through the console company's website. It can be easier than using the console. You having your own password to what's going on with these with the, with the kids' accounts, that's really critical because you, you need to be able to pop in and out of there and adjust things as, uh, you know, as time goes on. Also, talk with your kids about online safety, set guidelines, and even time limits for how long they can play on devices. I think that's very important. Mom Letitia Paisley already taking those first steps. In Orange County, Sydney Cameron, Fox 35 News. Yeah, uh, hits parents close to home for sure. Yes. It's a big challenge today it if you have teens is. and youngsters. That's so true.